Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation, where we discover the best of Switzerland in every season. My name is Lynn, and I am pleased to be your presenter today. Before we begin, I'd like to quickly take care of just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, first, we will hold all questions until the end. If during the presentation you have a question, just type it in the go to webinar um, question box in that toolbar and we will cover them at the end of the presentation. And second, I'm going to have two polling questions for you today and I hope you participate. So let's get going. As I mentioned, I'm Lynn. Some of you may recognize me as the moderator of our travel presentation series, but today I am a one woman show again. So we're going to be taking a great voyage together across Switzerland by train. I know that now is the time when everyone's starting to plan, especially for 2022. And I know Switzerland is on many people's bucket lists. So it's my pleasure to highlight today some of the amazing trains and can't miss destinations. My goal is to first cover Switzerland's famous trains. We'll talk about a handful of them, which you'll find incorporated into many of our most popular rail itineraries. And then I'll highlight a great trip for each season. So let's get started. And we're gonna kick things off with our first poll question. So let me go ahead and launch this here. And it is, have you vacationed in Switzerland? So go ahead and reply, easy yes or no answer, and we'll leave this open for about 20 seconds. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close the poll. And it looks like everyone has participated with 12% of today's attendees having been uh, to Switzerland for a vacation. So I think everyone's in the right place to learn about what makes this destination so special. And you'll also learn about some great itineraries um, for your favorite season. So let's move on. Uh, let's talk a little bit about vacations by rail before we jump into the trains and the, and the trips. Um, we are the leading rail vacations company in the United States and the trusted authority on rail. We have the largest collection of vacations to destinations around the globe. And the cornerstone of each itinerary is a rail journey aboard at least one iconic train. Vacations by Rail is a great rail journeys company, which means we're backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail tours. We are a member of the National Tour Association, American Bus Association, and we are AARP's preferred rail provider. And in addition to unmatched vacations, we offer best in class customer care from your first caller email to return from your trip. Vacations by Rail offers an extensive collection of rail vacations. Of course, there are amazing trains and these are at the heart of every itinerary, but that is just the start of the distinctive components. All of our itineraries include comfortable, well-located hotels, comprehensive sightseeing and insider experiences. When I think of train travel in Switzerland, the first thing that comes to mind is on time. Um, the, the Swiss are known for being on time and they're also known for their time pieces. Um, but followed by all of that, I always think about like perfect for any season. Uh, Switzerland is known for its rail network. I mean, it's look at that map. It's extensive and it's lauded for its on time performance. And it's recognized around the world for, for those fantastic sleek trains. Now I wanna showcase a few now, since these are the ones included in many of the itineraries I want to share with you. The first train, it needs no introduction, is one that comes to mind when people think of Switzerland, and that is the Glacier Express. And it is certainly noteworthy. Uh, it travels through 91 tunnels and across 291 bridges. 
and its route is 180 miles long between Zermatt and San Moritz. Breathtaking, unaltered natural landscapes are on full display from the train's large panoramic windows. Snow-capped mountains, canyons, narrow valleys, and rushing waters. Those are the scenic highlights of the changing vistas during this eight-hour journey. The next train, there it is, is the Bernina Express. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It connects Switzerland's mountain villages with Mediterranean Italy. The highest railway across the Alps, this train travels across the Albula and Bernina passes through 55 tunnels and across 196 bridges. Its scenic highlights include the Bruzio Circular Viaduct, the much photographed Montebello Curve, and the Ration Railway's signature Landwasser Viaduct. So the third train in our second to last one I'll highlight is the modern rail cars of the Golden Pass Panoramic. It offers the best views of cities and scenery from the comfort of these panoramic rail carriages. The train travels the scenic route between Zweisimmen and Montreux. Montreux is located on the shores of Lake Geneva. So, I mean, it's a very scenic area. Alpine meadows and snow-capped alpine peaks are, are some of the highlights on this journey as you travel through the Bernice Oberland. And here's the last train I wanna cover. And here, it's a winter scene here, but it travels year round. It is the Jungfrau Railway. The train climbs over 3,450 meters above sea level, to the summit of the Jungfrau Jach. And, and that is a mouthful. And it offers spectacular views over the surroundings with Alps, glaciers, and more. Now this journey takes travelers to the Eiger Tunnel and includes, um, it includes much scenery as you travel up towards the top of Europe station, where up there, I mean, there's, there's a Swiss chocolate store, there's great lookouts, um, there's dining, plenty of activities that, that complement these grand views. So now that we've seen some of the trains, let's jump into the seasons um, and let's look ahead to warmer and sunnier days. And it is springtime in Switzerland where the mountains may be snow capped, but the valleys are going to be green and vibrant. Now, when I think of spring in Switzerland, I think of our grand train tour of Switzerland itinerary. There's no better way to watch nature wake up and be inspired by a variety of Swiss cantons than on this 11 day itinerary that I think quite honestly covers it all. The itinerary begins and ends in Zurich and includes Switzerland's most popular trains. As I mentioned, this is an independent rail vacation, which means everything is arranged for you, but you're traveling on your own and setting your own pace. So this particular itinerary includes five scenic rail excursions. And here's the beauty of independent rail vacations in this tour in particular. You have options. You can add or remove days. You can choose three-star properties or four-star properties. Um, you can choose between standard class and first class on some of the trains, and even upgrade to excellence class on the Glacier Express. Um, you can add excursions, you can add transfers. I mean, in a nutshell, we can customize to meet your needs. So let's get kind of walk through some of the highlights of this itinerary. We arrive in Zurich and the first day is free to discover the city. On day two, we ride the Golden Pass Panoramic and we go from um, Zurich to Lucerne and then on to Grindelwald or Wengen. And the following day, we go to the top of Europe and here's that, that Jungfrau Railway in the summer or springtime in this case, and, and it's glorious. Um, this um, the train goes again to the top of the, the Jungfrau Mountain, and the Jungfrau Jacques is notable as the highest railway station in Europe, which is why it's called the Top of Europe. At the top, you can take in breathtaking views of the largest glacier in the Alps. It's called the Alush Glacier, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So our travels continue on the Golden Pass Panoramic to Montreux for an overnight. And on day five, we continue to Zermatt for a two night stay. Now Zermatt lies at the foot of the amazing Matterhorn. And here you have free time to take in the local shops and the restaurants 
And I mean, this is your amazing backdrop, right? Or you can take an excursion on this railway. It's the Gorner Gott Railway, and it's going to take you up Gorner Gott Mountain, and you're going to have amazing views of the Matterhorn. So here it is, the amazing Glacier Express. From Zermatt, you take a journey on the slowest express train in the world. That is uh, one of the, the notable things about the Glacier Express. It is called the slowest express train. And we disembark in Coeur, Switzerland's oldest city, which will charm you with its mountain setting, twisting valleys, and historic buildings. But, for the traveler who wants an extra special experience, earlier we talked about how you can upgrade or customize. You can upgrade to excellence class on the Glacier Express. This is um, the Glacier Express's newest class of service on the train. Uh, it includes a first class dining experience um, throughout the entire journey. It's really well known for that five course meal you get at lunchtime. And just a note that if this intrigues you, um, it's a very luxurious experience, but it's only available on the train's full route between the resort towns of Zermatt and San Moritz. So guests who select to upgrade to this class of service on the Glacier Express will overnight in San Moritz, not core. That doesn't really alter the remainder of the itinerary though, because next up we board the Bernino Ex Bernina Express. So we can do this in core or San Moritz. And we're taking the, this stunning train to Tirreno, Italy. In Tirreno, we embark on another new adventure. We pick up the Bernina Express bus for the onwards journey to Lugano. And Lugano is southern Switzerland's largest town. And I mean, you feel like you're in Italy down there. And we stay here for two nights. In Lugano, there is the chance to journey up to Monte Bray, the sunniest mountain in Switzerland. And you take, get, get up there by cable car or you can take a boat ride to the picturesque town of Gandrea. Now these particular excursions are extra. So should you not wish to purchase those optional excursions, you can just enjoy a day at leisure and explore on your own, which is, which is a great benefit of, of the itinerary. It's built in time at leisure. Um, on day 10 of this itinerary, we board the Godard Panorama Express and travel by, by first class panorama carriage from Lugano to Flulin and then board a historic paddle steamer and cruise across Lake Lucerne. And on the last day, you enjoy breakfast and transfer to the airport, and so you're flying out of Zurich as well. Now, if you like this itinerary but prefer to travel with a small group, we do have a new escorted tour for 2022, and it is called Grand Train Tour of Switzerland, an escorted experience. And you can visit vacationsbyrail.com for details on that itinerary, or you can contact a rail specialist um, to ask about that itinerary compared to this particular one. So the seasons are changing and summer is here. So this is our most popular escorted tour in Switzerland, Best of Switzerland by Rail. The name says it all. This 10 day escorted tour, it begins and ends in Zurich. And because it is escorted, you're traveling with a small group of travelers and you're accompanied by a professional tour manager. Now, like the previous itinerary, we're traveling exclusively by rail. So we have included an eight day Swiss travel pass here, which offers unlimited travel by train, bus and boat, plus select mountain excursions and admission to over 500 museums. So you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that on your days at leisure in some of these destinations. Um, also included are six scenic rail excursions, including the Bernina Express and Glacier Express, which we've talked about. Um, there's great centrally located hotels, meals and touring, it's all included. So here are the highlights. We're going to start with an excursion to St. Gallen by train. Um, we get there from Zurich and on arrival, we enjoy a walking tour of the old town. And here you can admire the historic buildings um, and it's most noted for its famous Baroque cathedral. And we're gonna learn about the origins of the town on this walking tour. Um, there's time for lunch on your own. And then we return to Zurich in the afternoon. Now, when you see this image, you know we're in Lucerne. And since we're vacations by rail, you know we got there by train. 
So here you can explore at leisure and um, there's, there's time to, to tour the city by foot or alternatively, you may wish to join an optional excursion to Mount Rigi and you're gonna use your Swiss travel pass for that. Two cog railways and a panoramic cable car make the journey up the mountain for a truly unforgettable experience. At the top, um, you can take in breathtaking panoramic views across the Alps, and on clear days, you can see clear into Germany and France. Our next highlight is a full day of travel aboard the Golden Pass panoramic from Lucerne to Montreux. And I mean, look at that. That is a feast for the eyes. Um, and then in Montreux, you're going to transfer to Lausanne for the night. And look at that image. From Lausanne, we depart for the Swiss mountain resort of Zermatt. En route, we stop in Montreux. And Montreux is known as the Swiss Riviera. Um, you may want to, in Montreux, join an optional guided excursion of Chion Castle. I've heard stories that Chion Castle was sort of the inspiration for the castle in The Little Mermaid, Disney's Little Mermaid. Um, here in Arrival in Zermatt, it is a car-free town and best known for the Matterhorn, which we see here, um, for the best views of the Matterhorn. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to take a ride on the Gornergrat Railway. This fully electric cog railway has been taking passengers up Gornergrat Mountain since 1898. It takes about 33 minutes to get to the summit, but it's worth it because along the way you're seeing this breathtaking scenery. And then at the summit, you're treated to some, some of the most spectacular scenery in the world, if I'm being honest, including a look at the Matterhorn, which I mean, it's just, that's why people go to Switzerland, right? So here it is again. Um, it is the wonderful Glacier Express from Zermatt. We, we, board this train and make the journey aboard um, Spectacular Glacier Express. Without a doubt, one of the highlights of this trip, um, we enjoy an unforgettable eight hour journey and the train is gonna wind through the Alps on its direct route from Zermatt to San Moritz. The sleek train, as I mentioned before, travels across 291 bridges through 91 tunnels and around tight curves as it travels through the Alps. And it unveils something new at every turn. So, I mean, this is just, just breathtaking, a breathtaking day of train travel. Just sit back and relax and look out those beautiful windows. Um, at lunchtime, you're gonna savor a three course meal. It's going to be served at your seat um, on board before arriving in San Moritz. So San Moritz is where we embark on one of our Europe's most um, incredible train rides the next day, and that's the Bernina Express. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and we're gonna board this train for a two hour trip to Tirano, Italy. So, um, there is free time in Tirano to explore before returning by train to San Moritz. And uh, that is that Bruzio circular viaduct we were talking about earlier. Now our last train trip of the tour, we travel from San Moritz to Zurich. And here we explore the city on a sightseeing tour on arrival. And we have a farewell dinner that night. Um, the next day it's, it's transfers to the airport. Now, one of the things that is most unique about Vacations by Rail's product line is our Vacations by Rail and River Cruise uh, in Europe. And these are great summer getaways as well. So we can't leave this particular season without mentioning this unique option. Our rail and cruise vacations in Switzerland feature great land touring uh, to the best of best Swiss cities, um, very similar to some of the, what we've seen here already. Um, but then we incredibly, you know, we have these incredible rail journeys on these bucket list trains like the Glacier Express. And we mix that with comprehensive land touring and then the premier river cruise. And when we talk about Switzerland, that's the Rhine River. Now, our river cruising is on five-star Amadeus cruise ships and they offer unparalleled levels of luxury. I mean, this is, this is small ship luxury cruising. Um, the cabins are spacious. They have modern conveniences and amenities. The food is amazing. Gourmet meals and, and little treats are always flowing out of the kitchens. Um, lots of 
really unique features on the train, like such beautiful sun decks and delightful lounges and, and everything is just very high end and very relaxing and all of your needs have been thought of. Um, excursions at ports of call are included and in some destinations there are several choices. So combining both the land tour and the river cruise is just makes for a very unique experience. So if you're looking for something new, especially for 2022, this, this could be it. So as the seasons change, we turn to autumn in Switzerland, complete with bright sights and temperate weather. Now, if you're an adventurer and enjoy exploring on your own, a rail and drive vacation is one that is sure to make memories. Let's take a look at Grand Swiss Rail and Drive. Now, like our previous itineraries, this one begins and ends in Zurich. The beauty of a rail and drive vacation is you can travel by train to some of the country's biggest cities. So you're covering those long distances by train very easily. But then you pick up your rental car and you use that to drive between smaller towns. So um, for instance, you pick up your car rental in Zurich here and you have time to explore here before um, embarking out into the countryside for the driving portion of your trip to Neuchâtel and Stad and then to Lucerne. So in Lucerne, you hand over your keys uh, and then continue the rest of your journey by um, here, we have a little boat ride to Fulin and then the remainder is um, train and there's the Bernina Express bus. Um, so let's, let's dive into some of the highlights of this particular vacation. With this itinerary, as I mentioned, you arrive in Zurich and the day is free to discover the city. And here we're also picking up our rental car on arrival and we're gonna drive to the hotel. And then the remainder of the day is free to discover Zurich, but the next day we're on the road. After breakfast, you're gonna make the scenic drive to Neuchâtel. Now you can make the drive as quickly or as leisurely as you want. Um, the day is really yours. It's an independent vacation. You're setting your own pace, just following the itinerary that we've arranged. Um, depending on the route you take, you may wish to visit any of the quaint villages along the way, or you can take a detour up to the Swiss French border. Um, the tar charming town of Basel is there. Um, you will also pass by Dubes Nature Park and the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Le Chaux de Fonds and Le Locle. After arriving in Neuchâtel and getting settled at your hotel, you can begin to explore the town. Um, again, a lot of this is, is when you arrive and how much time you have at your disposal at that point. But some of the most popular sites include the Collegiate Church and Neuchâtel Castle, which is pictured here. Um, both of which date back to the 12th century. So today's journey takes you into the heart of Switzerland to Stad, and your route will take you around the banks of Neuchâtel Lake and just outside of Gantrisch Nature Park, uh, which is located in the foothills of the Alps. Um, some of the scenery there is canyons and forests, um, charming little villages, um, and of course, you know, beautiful mountain views. Because you're on your own schedule and traveling at leisure, we fully encourage you to stop to explore and drink in these sites um, as you wish. Now, moving along, you will reach one of the oldest medieval regions in all of Switzerland, which is Freiburg. Here, there are over 200 Gothic buildings in the old town, and which date back to the 15th century. Um, you're going to see cobbled pathways and charming shops and cafes, and, and I personally think it's a must-stop destination. Your route will take continue through the rolling meadows and this bucolic landscapes of the Gruyere region, which of course is known for its Gruyere cheese, before finally arriving in the upscale resort town of Stad, where we spend two nights. So. Um, your time here on arrival is entirely free, so you can take a break from your driving. Um, you can soak in the mountain scenery. You can hike and bike. There's a cable car that takes you up above the resort, and uh, there's plenty of time for an opportunity for outdoor sports if you are um, sports-minded. And there is a traffic-free promenade and a wonderful shopping district as well. So for all my shoppers, I mean, 
you have to check that out as well. So our last leg of the drive portion of the itinerary takes us to Lucerne. Now, to make the most of your drive, you're going to head to Interlaken first. And here, you embark on a boat cruise across Lake Brands or Lake Thun, or you can use the funicular railway to climb the harder Kulm, and you can gaze out over the Bernese Overland. Um, you can also take a journey on the Jungfrau Railway, which we've talked about earlier in Interlaken, and you're going to travel to the highest railway station in all of Europe. So there's lots of different options today. But when you're done with that sightseeing in this area, you're gonna move on and travel through, through the capital city of Bern, which boasts an incredible UNESCO World Heritage Site Old City. Um, some of the sites there are the Federal Palace and a variety of other unique landmarks. Uh, and then your drive can continue again and, and you're headed to Lucerne. This is your final destination. So this is the route we've mapped out for you. But again, you're taking this at leisure. You're stopping and seeing the things that are most important to you. Um, in our arrival in Lucerne, we're handing over our car keys. Um, we're going to spend two nights here. And so after you drop your car off, um, you have a Lucerne visitor card included with this itinerary. So this card gives you access to free local public transportation, as well as discounted admission for mountain railways, museums, cable cars, and other excursions throughout the region. So you have this in hand. It is your activities and transportation pass all rolled into one. So, um, you know, we can provide you with lots of different suggestions of what you can do with it. But the, the bottom line is there are options. And so when you're in Lucerne, you're going to want to have this in hand. So next we depart Lucerne. At the banks of Lake Lucerne, you're going to board a paddle steamer for the scenic cruise across the Lake de Flulen. And here we board the Godard Panorama Express, which as we've talked about is bound for Lugano. Now the next leg of the trip is accomplished in approximately two and a half hours as you move out of the Swiss Alps and down into the Mediterranean. Um, some of the scenic highlights on this particular rail journey are a series of spiral loops along two tunnels, the Godard Tunnel and the Godard Base Tunnel, which is um, has recognition as the longest railway tunnel in the world. So just something to think about there. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Um, in Lugano, we spend two nights here and you're full, you have a full free day at leisure. So there are lots of choices. Um, you can spend the day cruising across the sparkling waters of Lake Lugano. Um, there's many private boat charters you may wish to take advantage of. Um, you can enjoy a organized excursion um, to uh, um, hop on a, a boat ride for a cooking demonstration. You can visit Villa della ba Bel Bianello, which was built in the 12th century and was featured in one of the James Bond films. So um, lots of different opportunities for, for activities here. We leave Lugano on the Bernina Express bus bound for Tirano, where we watch the where we catch the Bernina Express. Now, as we've talked about, this is one of the most scenic train lines in the world. As the train leaves Tirano, you're gonna say goodbye to the palm trees of the south and you're gonna journey um into the northerly make the northerly journey into the alps where snow-capped mountains are awaiting you and here we're going to go to san moritz um in route the train's going to cross 55 tunnels it's going to make its way over 196 bridges and um just incredible scenery on the two-hour journey that's what waits for you so we spend two nights and one full day at leisure in the resort town of San Moritz. And here there are a variety of museums, shops, and nature activities to entertain just about anybody. Um, on the penultimate day, day 11, we take the high-speed train to Zurich. It is a journey that will take you about three hours. And this is where your Grand Swiss adventure ends the following day. But like our other independent vacations, um, you can customize this to meet your needs. You can add additional nights. You can remove nights. You can add excursions. So this itinerary, while we've set it to what we think is well-paced and well-timed and, and hits all of the high points, you can make this your own. Um, and we encourage you to do so and really work with your rail specialist to develop the itinerary that meets your travel goals. 
So here we are, it's our final season and it is the magic of winter in Switzerland. There's really nothing like it, if you want my opinion. Uh, Switzerland is the perfect all season destination and to show you what you can experience in winter, I'm happy to show you the winter wonderland side of the country with our deluxe Switzerland in winter itinerary. Now, this is an independent vacation, so you are following a well-planned itinerary on your own for nine days. Let's review some of the seasonal highlights. So Zurich, this is where you arrive and depart with ample time to acquaint yourself with the city. And then after breakfast, you transfer to Zurich main station to board a train bound for Samaritz. Now the journey takes between three and four hours to complete and along the way, it's, it's quintessentially Swiss winter wonderland scenery. You're gonna see snow dusted villages at the base of these rugged mountains and, and snow blanketed valleys. Um, and the train's gonna arrive at a station in San Moritz where you're transferred to the Hotel Bald House in Sils Maria. And here you'll be able to enjoy winter sports like skiing and snowboarding. And I mean, that's a little adventurous even for me. So um, you can also do winter walks and sledding, which is a little bit more my style. Or, I mean, if you really don't even wanna bother with the outdoor winter activities, you can pamper yourself in the hotel's on-site spa, which sounds really divine. So the highest continually populated valley in the Swiss Alps is called Fex Valley, or as the locals call it, Val Fex. It is um, wonderful any time of the year. However, look at this, it is unbeatably beautiful and peaceful in the winter. Um, you're lucky enough to embark on a horse-drawn carriage ride through the powdery landscape, which sounds just completely romantic and very wintry. Now there's no better way to journey to Zermatt than by train. After all, we are vacation spy rail. And um, you know, you're gonna make this journey on, as we know, the Glacier Express. So you're gonna settle in for a full day of scenic rail, including a wonderful gourmet lunch. On day five, you're going to board the Gornergrat Railway and ascend to the top of Gornergrat Mountain, where you're gonna get that up close view of the Matterhorn. Um, once at the top, you can take in the winter wonderland from the station's viewing platform, which is just an incredible sight. So day six finds us on a train headed to Interlaken. The route will take you on a northerly journey through the incredible Swiss landscape. You're gonna pass by some quaint mountain towns and get incredible views of the Alps. The ride is gonna take you about two hours and upon arrival, you'll have the rest of the day at leisure. So you can experience um, the town however you'd like. Uh, now we've talked about the Jungfrau Jach, but imagine visiting the highest railway station in Europe and seeing all of those amazing sights with freshly fallen snow blanket blanketing that landscape. This unguided excursion in winter is a sight to see, and you do just that on day seven. Next, you will see the Swiss landscape from another perspective, and that is on the water. From the harbor in Interlaken, you're going to board a lake cruiser for a scenic adventure across Lake Thun. You're gonna have views of castles and soaring mountain peaks, and you're gonna see these um, charming tree-lined villages. And as the boat arrives in tune, you're gonna board a high-speed train and it's gonna take you to Bern. The day is at leisure to explore the historic old town, the elegant cathedrals and museums and interesting sites such as the Child Eater Fountain, which I mean, it, it is a sight to see, and the clock tower. Um, on day nine, you board a train for Zurich and that is where your vacation concludes. Now, in any of our independent vacations, you can enhance your experience with upgrades. And we've talked about some of them throughout this presentation. You can add excursions, you can add extra nights hotel, or possibly just upgrade the hotels or class of service in the, in the hotel or the train. Um, and on that Glacier Express for an independent vacation, if it makes sense for the itinerary, you can board, uh, upgrade to um, excellence class. 
So each independent package includes different options. So my recommendation is to speak with a vacation spy rail specialist so um, they can help you understand the different options available to you and make recommendations to what they think works well for the itinerary, but certainly help you meet your travel goals by um, incorporating those, those um, modifications. Many of our escorted tours can be customized as well at the beginning or end of the tour. So you can have flexible start and end destinations um, and uh, maybe even add some sightseeing. So here we are. It is the second polling question and I am going to open it up right now. It is, in what season would you like to visit Switzerland? So we're going to keep this open for about 15 seconds. Okay, it looks about like about everybody has um, had a chance to participate. So I'm going to close the poll. And it's, the answers are close, but summer is the clear winner. No matter which time of year you prefer to travel, um, you're sure to have a great selection of itineraries. Um, summer is my favorite time to travel in Switzerland as well. Uh, but I think they're all amazing. I would never pass up an opportunity to experience it at any time of the year. So if you'd like to learn more about our rail vacations in Switzerland or destinations around the globe, you can request one of our brochures by calling 877-929-7245 or visit vacationsbyrail.com. Just a little note that our newest brochure, which has both 2021 and 2022 itineraries, dates and prices, um, is hot off the presses. So. I'm excited for you to receive one of those. To make a reservation, you can contact any of our rail specialists by calling 877-929-7245. You can also book online at vacationsbyrail.com. But as a reminder, and I mentioned it at the beginning of the presentation, um, we do offer best-in-class customer care. And my insider tip for you is that the rail specialist who assists you with your first caller email is the rail specialist who will be with you throughout your entire journey until you return home from your trip. So you have questions um, before you book, after you book, or right before you, you depart, that is who you would want to contact. Um, they're very invested in ensuring you have a wonderful trip. Okay, we are at the Q&A portion of our um, presentation, and I know we have some questions. So um, give me a moment and we will start to check those out. Okay, the first question, do you recommend pre or post hotels? <clears throat> um, I do. I think the one thing we can all agree on is that we want to avoid jet lag and adding a, a pre-night stay at the beginning of your trip ensures you're going to be well rested for the start of your great adventure. Um, alternatively, extending your stay by a night or two at the end of your trip allows those last few moments of a vacation, you know, you get to savor them for a little bit longer. So I would recommend that as well. Um, but definitely at the beginning. Um, why do your trips begin or end in Zurich? Well, Zurich is an easy location to get to from the US in particular. Um, there's a lot of airlift out of the US and really good uh, schedules. But it is also very centrally low. It's a big city and it's centrally located um, with its rail station. So um, you have a lot of different trains that can come in and out of there as well with a lot of frequency. Um, so it's it just is a, a very convenient beginning and end point. Um, let's see, the next question. Is there a lot of free time on an escorted tour? 
Um, yeah, our escorted tours offer a good balance of um, group touring and time at leisure. Um, so you have opportunity to experience um, a destination and have some adventures on your own. So um, it, it's, it offers an, an excellent balance. Um, there, is, there is very good um, amount of free time. Um, how are single travelers accommodated? Well, we have a lot of single travelers to travel with us, both on independent vacations and escorted tours. Um, singles have their own room. We don't room share. Um, there is a nominal supplement for single travelers and any of our rail specialists would be happy to assist you if you are a single traveler and are interested in any of these vacations. Um, Let's see, can I upgrade to excellence class on an escorted tour? Well, unfortunately not. Um, as going on excellence class, it changes the, it, it could change your, um, the itinerary. And so since on an escorted tour, we're traveling with a small group, um, we, we, are, we all stay in the same class of service on the train. Um, so, so no, unfortunately not. Okay, we have time for a couple more questions. Let's see. How close are hotels in the rail station? Um, hotels are centrally located. Um, often they're a quick walk to the rail station. Um, however, on many of our, I shouldn't say many, however, on some of our escorted itineraries in particular, if we're not walking, if it's not a close proximity, there is a coach transfer. Um, it really is dependent on the itinerary. So check that or speak with the rail specialist for all of the details. All right. Uh, last question. I'm planning for 2022 now. How can I book? Well, if you're ready to book now, you can. Uh, the great news is the 2022 dates and prices are available um, right now for most of our trips in Switzerland, as well as destinations throughout the rest of Europe, North America, and beyond. So uh, if you're in the planning mode and you really want to start gathering um, all of the really pertinent details like those dates and prices, um, I encourage you to visit us online at vacationsbyrail.com or call 877-929-7245. Um, Speak with a rail specialist. Um, they can help you, um, if you're waffling between different trips, they can help you select the one that meets your needs the best. Um, or I mean, you can just enjoy browsing um, online and call us when you, when you have um, the particular itinerary you love in mind. Um, you may also want to request a brochure that could help you uh, make some decisions. It really is beautiful and uh, I like to keep mine on my coffee table. So uh, that wraps up our presentation for today. I know that we do have some other questions remaining here. Um, those will be handed to uh, one of our rail specialists. They will contact you for personal responses. I do appreciate you spending time with me today to learn about Switzerland, some of its scenic trains, and some great itineraries for each season. Um, and I, I appreciate it. You have a great day. Thanks.